for the most part, I really enjoyed I Believe in Santa, so I was genuinely shocked to see that it only has 4.4 out of 10 on IMDb, across 1.7 thousand reviews and ratings. That's not a great overall score. So if you've looked at that score and thought, I'm not going to bother with it, please give it a go. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but generally, it's got a lovely message, it's very heartfelt, and the narrative is pretty decent. This was released this year in 2012, it's directed by Alex Renara Velo, written by John Ducci, and it stars Christina Moore, John Ducci, and Violet McGraw. And I have to say, it's really lovely. It starts off around the 4th of July, and Lisa is a writer, she's writing an article about how great the 4th of July is, and ends the article by saying it's much a, it's a much better holiday than Christmas. She happens to meet Tom in a very peculiar circumstance that, to be honest, once the film got underway, I kind of forgot about. But she meets Tom, they have a relationship, her young daughter Ella is very fond of Tom, they clearly have a very good family unit. And then Christmas happens, and Lisa learns that while she really couldn't care for Christmas, Tom absolutely loves Christmas. And he ends up revealing to her, this isn't the spoiler, it's what the whole film is about, he reveals to her that he still believes in Santa Claus. And it's not just a case of, I believe in Christmas magic, he genuinely believes that Santa Claus still exists, and Lisa is not sure if this is something she can cope with. And she's also not sure that she likes Tom telling her young daughter, her eight-year-old daughter, that Santa is still real, even though she lets her believe. She's very confused by how she should feel about this. Tom is very set in his belief, and the film addresses the question of whether it's okay or not to be an adult believing in Santa, taking that Christmas magic one step further and believing in the ultimate Christmas magic. It never provides a concrete answer, which I think is a great thing, because it's up to each person whether or not they believe. And I think it's a very sensible thing that the film has ultimately said, if you believe in Santa Claus, that's fantastic. If you don't believe in Santa, that's okay as well. And it looks at well, it discusses Santa Claus's Christmas. Santa is the emblem for Christmas magic, of course, and highlights the fact that even when you take away the religious aspect, because obviously, certainly nowadays, I'd say more people than not who celebrate Christmas don't do it for the religious reasons. But there's also the Santa's Christmas, which is where you have the Christmas magic and the time of year that encourages you to spend time with your family. It's not all about spending money. We see Tom encouraging Lisa and Ella to make Christmas decorations. So he's showing that he's not necessarily buying into all of the commercialization. He still believes in the real raw Christmas magic or what he believes to be the true Christmas magic. And the, the big question, of course, is will they still be together by the end of the film or will this belief in Santa be too much for Lisa to deal with? I'm not going to say what happens, but I genuinely really liked it. There was one scene that genuinely had me welling up and it's the scene with the cardboard sled. I won't say any more than that, but I thought it was beautifully done, beautifully shot. The whole film is from start to finish. Um, it's very well filmed, very well shot, um, very magical, very, very, very Christmassy. One of the most festive Christmas films I've seen in a long time, which may seem like an obvious thing to say, but there are plenty of Christmas films that are not very Christmassy. But this is easily one of the most Christmas films, partly because Tom is trying to encourage Lisa to do one Christmas activity every day in December in the run-up to Christmas. Um, I thought it was beautiful. The acting's very good. Violet McGraw as Ella, I thought, was particularly wonderful. Um, she brought a real wonderful childlike energy and enthusiasm to this that worked very well. Uh, I have no complaints. Genuinely, there isn't anything about this that I think didn't work. There were a couple of times when I thought the narrative maybe slowed down a little bit. There are some scenes that I think they maybe could have cut out because they felt a little bit repetitive, but not to the point where I felt like I wasn't enjoying the film. So as I said, that 4.4 out of 10 kind of surprised me quite a lot because it really is really enjoyable uh, and magical and I have no complaints. If you're looking for a very festive film, I Believe in Santa is honestly a perfect choice to go with.